one of the things that people say about eating healthy is that it costs too much money. Yeah. Um, and it's some of that stuff's not readily available. You mentioned the grass-fed yeah. um, beef and chicken and things like that. Uh, what do you say to that when you can go to McDonald's and get you know a whole meal for a bunch of people for five, six, seven dollars? Very good point. And this is where we're having a growing chasm mm -hmm. between the haves and the have-nots. Uh, the first chasm came out of the 1980s with computers. If your family had computers, they're more likely that your children would be successful in school and college and get a good job. You don't have a computer, you're on the other side of the Grand Canyon. You're in deep trouble. Mm -hmm. And now we're having the same thing with food. Uh, there are areas of the country where grocery stores have withdrawn. You can't, even if you read about fruits and vegetables in my books and said, well, I better eat more of that, there's not a grocery store within walking or maybe even driving distance to get fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So that is a clear problem. Now the business of is it more expensive? No. If you're, if you're shopping in your standard big city grocery store, eating wholesome foods that I'm talking about will save the average family of four about $1,500 a year, which is enough to take them to a nice, a decent summer vacation. Not only that, but what you'll find is everybody's worried about who's going to pay my health insurance premium. What if you didn't need one? What if your body repaired itself? What if you ate a good diet so that you could live a long and fruitful life and at age 82 after a wonderful family reunion you died in your sleep and you didn't need all of this expensive, invasive, controlling, disabling health care. And that's where a whole food diet is cheaper.